Hi guys, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I know I have taken you shopping all kinds of places, but today I'm gonna take you someplace we've never been before. We are going dream home shopping. What you don't know is that a few weeks ago, my family and I took a trip. We were out of state and we viewed a lot of homes. So I'm gonna walk you guys through one of my favorites. So let's go home shopping. home we're looking at today is beautiful definitely one of my dream homes and who knows what's to come down the road so when we were looking at homes we were looking at large one-story homes most of you know I do have multiple sclerosis been battling it for over 12 years so a one-story is an absolute must for our family something else that's really important to our family is office space and this home has a designated office, which is perfect because my husband is working from home 100% of the time these days. It's really nice to have an office away from the busyness of the rest of the house. And that's what this home had to offer. Another thing they have is space and storage. There are closets absolutely everywhere. And with three kids who are almost adults at home, we definitely need the space for them to be in high school and junior high and college from home. So right off next to the office, there is this area with lots of closet space, a nice sized little bedroom with its own ensuite bath that would definitely be designated for our oldest who is in college remotely right now and give him a little bit of privacy and space of his own for the first time in his life. He has always, always shared a bedroom with his brother. And should he decide to fly the coop and be on his own as he is an adult, this would be a wonderful guest bedroom as it has a nice size closet. You could easily fit a queen size bed in here and it has its own bathroom, which would be wonderful to offer all of our out of state family. It is also on the front end of the home near the dining room and the office, so a little more quiet and removed from the busyness of the house. Now I'm gonna take you guys back here. So this is actually where the garage is attached. It's got a little area for hanging up coats and purses and anything you need to ditch when you walk in the door like shoes. And this is the laundry room. Needs a little bit of work, but it's one million times better than the little closet I have right now. They also have a nice size closet right here when you enter, which would be great for more storage as you come in the door and the garage. Now, most people wouldn't be very impressed by this, but I love it. This is shelving that would stay and you guys know right off the bat, this would be where I store all of my seasonal and non-seasonal decor. It would be easy to access and we still have quite a large two car garage to utilize. So I loved this feature. It is on a step up. So should there be any issue, everything would be safe from any kind of water. And it's just a really nice finished garage. So now let's head back inside and let me show you guys the dining room. Now for our family, we're not really formal, but I would definitely utilize this space for gatherings, I would probably transform it into more of a living room space. There's a lot of very tall windows in this home that give a ton of lighting. My camera's just not doing it very much justice right now. Now across from the dining room, there are two more bedrooms that share a Jack and Jill style bathroom. It would definitely be utilized as kind of like the powder room for guests. So they are good sized bedrooms. They all have closets larger than our master closet right now. And they do attach and share that one bathroom as well as a few closets in this little nook. So as you can see, the bedrooms are pretty much identical with the exception of the placement of the windows and they will share a bathroom over here that is just adjacent to the other side of the house, which is where we saw the dining room. All the fixtures are beautiful and new. I really couldn't ask for anything more. 
So now we're actually walking from the Jack and Jill bathroom into bedroom, I guess this would be considered number three. So as you can see, just slightly different placement of the window, the closet and the door. They are very good sized rooms, definitely larger than our master bedroom right now back home. Now you walk down a bit of a hallway and you find yourself here in this gorgeous kitchen. I know that white cabinets are very popular and I do like cream cabinetry with some distressing, but honestly, I love dark cabinetry in a kitchen. Uh, to me, it's just very timeless. There is so much space and you can see why we need it because that's my baby you just saw who is all of almost six feet tall now and um, they're growing, they're getting big and it's basically a household of five adults in our home. I love everything about this kitchen from the backsplash to the size of the pantry. It is pretty good size when you open up that door and the gas range. For me, I absolutely must have a gas range. They also have some really nice glass front decorative cabinets, and you guys know that I could do some damage on those. There's plenty of space for everything that you need in here, and I love that the sink overlooks the great room. So on the right side, you'll see that there's a little breakfast nook, and that would be our primary table. We're not fancy and there is room for lots of bar stools around the counter. And then you've got the great room, very high ceilings, as you can see, lots of windows and lighting. And I think the fireplace is gorgeous. Back here is where the master suite is located. There's also another closet here right behind me. And as you can tell, windows galore in this room, very high ceilings lots of space and this is a queen size sort of travel mattress so you can definitely picture a king size bed in here now the finishes in the master bathroom i like very much there is a tub two sinks a his and hers and a closet that is more than i could ever ask for it is just one closet for the master and so my husband and i would share this with no trouble now out on the back deck, there is a beautiful covered area, nice porch. It does have just a few stairs that lead down into the back and side yards. That is just a little shed, perfect for a lawnmower and some tools. And there is a very large side yard. Definitely could picture lots of family out here on holidays. So here's one last look from the very back of the house with the great room and master all the way down to the front entry. Well, as you can tell, I am back home. So we didn't move in just yet. <laughs> so give a guess down below. I'd love to hear where you guys think that's located. It is in the US, so there's a little hint. And now we're gonna get busy decorating the outside of the house for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.